Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Today we'll be talking about another very very important and interesting topic that is improvement in crop yield, crop production and management. So let us first begin by taking some examples of various crop and seeing in which nutrients they are rich in. So the first one students are the crops which are rich in carbohydrates. These include cereals such as rice, wheat, maize, etc. Also the second one is the protein rich crops which include pulses like gram, pea, pigeon pea, lentil etc. And the third one students are the oil rich crops which are also rich in fats. These include the oil seeds like soya bean, castor, mustard and groundnut. Now let us turn our attention to the various factors which will affect the growth and development of crops. Students, growth and development of the crop plants depends mainly upon the very first one that is climatic condition. It also depends upon the photo period. Now this is a new term. What exactly is meant by a photo period? Remember students, every single plant Every single species of plant depends upon a particular amount of daylight and a particular amount of darkness in one day. Now this particular requirement of daylight as well as a darkness is called as that plant's photo period. A photo period is very very much important for the plant to grow normally and also for the plant to bloom. Moving on students, the next one is temperature. As I'm sure many of you know that some plants prefer colder temperatures whereas some plants prefer warmer or hotter temperature. So these three are the factors which are affecting the growth and development of plants which are climatic conditions, photo period and temperature. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.